M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I had a question about the cushion. This one's the K5, this one's the K6. This one's had the mod for the signal meter, and this has got the mod for the for the scope. As you can see, there's the scope there, and there's activity on HubNet, which I can turn up here, hopefully. No, they stopped speaking up. Yeah, so the audio you're hearing is on the same frequency as here, look. 434550. And what the question was, was does the band scope work? And I would say yes, it does work. It's not perfect, but it does work. You can change the parameters. Look look at the figure here, 1000, and then look at the frequency here on the right hand side, 434, and you see it changing. And as it's detecting different frequencies, you're getting the figure come up here, and then when, when HubNet speaks, you're getting, you know, that it's picking it up here. Now, if you push the 4, watch this. Watch the uh, the figures change. Let me just try the two because earlier ah oh, there it is. Look at the two. I'm pushing the two, and this figure's changing. One eight hundred. See it? Now it's three thousand. So I'm guessing it's covering a wider part of the band. If I want to speak again, with a bit of luck, if I quickly key, you'll get a spike there. Now I've got a radio here in my hand. It's on four three one zero zero zero. 431.550 Now if I just key it, someone spoke there, if I key it, you'll see there's an effect on the scope there. I am a bit too close to it, to be honest, but I'll do it again. See that? And then let's move, let's push the number 8. No change there. Number 6. Actually, no, it is changing. Look, when I push the 8, it's going down. Let's go right down, see if it goes to minus. It goes down to 200, and if I push the key on this 431 radio, let's push some other buttons. So I'm not saying it's good, but it's fun, but, but when it's on, oh, it's not doing it now, earlier on when I was using it, you would get this uh, strange noise coming through, but that seems to have stopped, so that's good. So the best thing to do is to check it out. I do like the signal meter. You can download a, another thing that we play ping pong. There's another firmware, one where you can update it and you're playing, uh, you can send a message from one radio to the other, like a text message, uh, like on MSN Messenger. I mean, they're fun radios, aren't they, look? So if you go F, if we come out of the scope, like so, Push the key. Uh, this is Mike 7, Victor Volney Oscar. Well, this is now for all calls. If you press F, then band, you can start to cycle through all the bands that they do. And they don't, they're six band radios. Then you go F number two is A and B. And then F three is VFO. F and, F and then above is a radio, broadcast radio. And then F scan, F and scan. It's come out of broadcast radio. Go F scan, it starts to scan, hopefully. Probably push too many buttons. But you get the idea. So, uh, you know, I think everything, everything works, but it's an 18 pound radio. So it works 18 pound, but you know, these are easily worth more than £18. I don't care what anyone says. You get a cradle charger, they're USB-C charger, they've got a built-in torch, a broadcast radio, they cover loads of bands. Um, they've got a nice keypad. They're nice to use. They're nice to hold. They're just the right size. So, I, I, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of these, like of these radios. And on the B section there, we've got GB3WR, which is about, I don't know, about 10 miles from me. So let's go to F, then B, and see if we can open it. M0 FXB test, test, M0 FXB test. Look at that. You heard that I opened it. That's 10 miles away from me. So there you are, bye for now, and I'm indoors with a, with, with a rubber duck. And people say the, these antennas aren't very good. Well, that's not my experience. These nice, chunky antennas, in my experience, they're really good. Work well. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.